हेलो वेलकम अगेन वी आर सॉल्विंग सम क्वेश्चंस ऑफ फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स द टॉपिक इज काइनेमेटिक्स एंड डायनेमिक्स ऑफ फ्लो द क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 एंड 17 कैरी द कॉमन स्टेटमेंट द स्टेटमेंट इज कंसीडर द फ्लो विद इन द रिवर विद बैंक्स अलोंग एक्स एक्सिस एंड अदर बैंक्स अलोंग सी ए एज शोन इन फिगर 1 द रोप इज प्लेस अक्रॉस टू बैंक्स एज शोन बाय ओ ए नाउ विद इन द रोप एंड एलिमेंटल डिस्टेंस डी एस इज कंसिडर्ड इन दिस एलिमेंट क्यू इज वेलोसिटी इन एक्स डायरेक्शन एंड बीटा इज एंगल मेड बाई क्यू विद अटेंजन टू ड्रो सो एट दिस एट दिस एलिमेंट एज शोन इन फिगर टू सो दिस इज फिगर टू दिस इज क्यू दिस इज यूर क्यू कोस बीटा एंड दिस इज बीटा दिस इज क्यू साइन बीटा ओके सो देन एक्सप्रेशन इंटरगल क्यू साइन बीटा डी एस रिप्रेजेंट ऑप्शन ए स्ट्रीम फंक्शन ऑप्शन बी वेलोसिटी पोटेंशियल ऑप्शन सी वार्टिसिटी ऑप्शन डी सर्कुलेशन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटीन द एक्सप्रेशन इंटरगल क्यू कोस बीटा डी एस रिप्रेजेंट ऑप्शन ए स्ट्रीम फंक्शन ऑप्शन बी वेलोसिटी पोटेंशियल ऑप्शन सी वार्टिसिटी एंड ऑप्शन डी सर्कुलेशन सो दिस So we know that the velocity potential is u is equal to uh, minus curly pi by curly x or pi is the integral u dx. Now if we consider x as s direction, then u will be u in a u in this direction will be your cos uh, as u uh, cos beta. Okay, so the value of so this angle is beta, and u if we consider this x direction, then it will be q cos beta. So uh, the so if we can replace u by q cos beta and dx by ds so pi is the integral q cos beta ds okay now uh, as the stream function and the velocity potential are orthogonal to each other so if this is your pi uh, velocity potential then the stream function will be uh, sin beta okay so uh, this is pi will be q sin beta ds or again we can uh, uh, we can take this q sin beta as v okay so this will give the same expression because we have taken this as u so this will be your v okay and ds is your dx okay so the stream function is uh, q sin beta ds integral and the velocity potential is q cos beta integral uh, q cos beta ds integral is Okay, so answer uh, to question number fifteen, stream function is your a and uh, uh, the velocity potential is b. Okay, so answer to question number fifteen is a and answer to question number seventeen is b. Okay, next. A stream function is given by psi uh, is equal to 2x square y plus x plus 1 y square then the flow rate across a line joining point a 30 b 02 coordinates is for unit depth option a 0.4 unit option b 1.5 1.1 unit option uh, c 4 unit and option uh, d 5 unit so the stream function is given as uh, this is uh, now in a two dimensional flow we have we have in a two dimensional flow the difference of value of stream function gives the uh, flow per unit so at uh, uh, at 30 the value of stream function is 0 okay we put uh, the value here x as 3 and y as 0 x as 3 this will be y 0 and this will be y 0 so this is your 0 now we put a, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2 we put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2 so that will be 4 okay. so that the flow is your uh, psi to minus psi 1 that is 4 here so answer is the difference of stream function gives the flow per unit depth okay so uh, answer is 
chlorine. So this can be analyzed by this equation also because this is your uh, q sine beta ds. Q sine beta means the velocity in uh, direction perpendicular to the direction consider multiplied by ds uh, integration will give the uh, flow per unit depth. Okay. Next, the velocity potential is given by pi is equal to 2x square y square. The flow rate along a line joining A31 B02 is uh, per unit depth. Option A 4 unit, option B 11 unit, option D uh, 18 unit, and option D 15 unit. So, this is the uh, almost the same portion as this portion. Okay. Here we have to find out the uh, flow across a line and we have to find the flow along a line. Along a line, the, 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 the flow is given by uh, uh, difference of uh, velocity potential and across the line it is given by difference of speed. Okay. So here uh, the steam function, uh, the difference of uh, velocity potential will give uh, the flow along the line. Okay. So add 3 1, uh, we put the value here 3 1, then it will be, then it will be 2 into 9 into 1 and add uh, 0 to 2 0. So the flow is at 18. Okay. So answer is option C. Okay. Next, the velocity in meter per second at a point in two dimensional flow is given as V is equal to 2Y I plus 3XJ. The equation of steam line passing through the point is option A 3X uh, DX minus 2Y DY is equal to 0, option B 2X plus 3Y is equal to 0, option C 3X DX plus 2Y DY is equal to 0 option D x y is equal to 6. So now we know that the slope of steam line is dy by dx equal to dy. By so here v is uh, here v is your 3x and u is 2y. So uh, dy by dx is equal to 3x by 2y or we can say it is uh, multiplied here and cross multiplication will, will give this 3x dx minus 2y divide equal to 0. So answer is option A.